In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to share files in Google Drive. So, if you have files or Google Docs or Google Sheets and things like that in your Google Drive, you can actually share them with other people so that they can look at them on their computer, and you can even allow them to edit the files. So, if you share them a Google Doc, then they can type things in the Google Doc or change the name of it or delete it even, and they can do a lot of things, and then you can come back and look at the Google Doc yourself and you'll see all their changes. So, it's really cool like that and it's not just for editing you can share any file that's in your Google Drive and they'll be able to look at it and you can choose for them to be able to only look at it or edit look at it and edit it so it's really cool and in this video Timmy's going to show you how to do that so when you're in your Google Drive you just go to drive.google.com and then you'll be in Google Drive so if you scroll down here if you maybe wanted to share this picture with someone you could just click on it once like that and then click on this icon up here where there's a person and a plus icon. So click on that. And now it will give you the option to share it with people. So you can see you're here, this is your account, and you're the owner. But if you type someone's Google email address in this box, then you can share it with them. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a Gmail address, but it has to be an address that's associated with their Google account. So it might be their name at gmail.com, or it might be a completely different non-Gmail email address, but that's fine as long as the email address is associated with their Google account. So if you just click in here and start typing their email address, You'll see it'll come up if, you, if you've if you emailed them before or if they're in your contacts or if they're not and you don't know them before, you can just type it all in and press enter. But you'll see here, Timmy's got this email address that Timmy wants to share it to. This is a different Gmail account Timmy has. So then you can just click on it and now you're going to be sharing it with this person. And here you'll see that it's set to editor. So that's what Timmy was talking about before where they're able to edit it. So because this is a picture, they would only really be able to change the name of it and delete it maybe. But if this was a document or a spreadsheet or something, they could go into the document and they could type things, they could take stuff out, they could do anything you can do when you're editing a Google Doc or Google Sheet or anything like that. So if you want them to be able to edit it, which you might if you're sharing it with them, you can just leave it set to editor. But if you don't want them to be able to edit, you can click on here and then you can change it. So if you change it to commenter, that means they'll be able to look at the file and leave a comment on it. So maybe if you're sharing it to them and asking them what's your opinion on this, it would be good to have them be able to comment on it. So that can be good. Or if you just want them to be able to, be able to view it and not do anything else with it, they'll be able to view it and download it. But that's all they can do. They can't really affect what's on Google Drive. You can set it to viewer and now they will only be able to view it. And you can type a message here if you want to explain why you're sharing it with them if you want, but that's optional. And then once you're happy with all this, you can just click on send and now it will share it with them. And they will get an email letting them know that you've shared it with them and then they'll be able to open the file and do whatever they want with it. So that's really all there is to it. Or you could do it with a Google Doc. It would really be the same process. You click on this share button and then you just type their name and change the editing thing if you want and that's all there is to it. So that's how it's done if you're inside Google Drive. But if you maybe opened up this Google Doc and you were inside Google Docs working on this Google Doc, you could share it from within Google Docs as well. So if you just come up here and click on this share button here, you'll see a padlock which means it's which means no one else has access to it at the moment. But if you click on share here, it will bring up the same thing as what we had in Google Drive to share it with them here. So if you just type in the person you want to share it with and choose them, you can make them editor, commenter, reviewer, and then click on send. And then that will share the Google Doc with them or Google Sheet or Google Slide using this way rather than having to go into Google Drive. So that can be handy as well. But that's really all there is to it. And it's a really handy tool if you want to let people you know have access to files on your Google Drive. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below. And click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And Timmy will see you in the next video.